Stop yelling because you yell too much. And when I yell, what else happens around us? I cry. Theo sometimes gets scared. That's Tate. Tate is eight years old, and he's talking to his dad, Chris, who works on this show. Last year, Chris's mom died, and it got him thinking about what kind of a parent he was. As it turns out, he's a loud one. It was one of those moments where I thought, holy shit, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the dad that I thought I was. I've been thinking a lot about what, um, what I should do about this. What do you think you should do about it? What I want to try for a week is to not yell at my kids, to see if I can actually, you know, <laughs> you know, not lose it when they start fighting with each other, when they don't put their pajamas on, when they don't brush their teeth, when they won't get out the door, if I can actually get through a week of that kind of day-to-day -day stuff and not yell. I'm Stephen Marsh, and this is How Not to Fuck Up Your Kids Too Bad, a guide to modern fatherhood. This episode, how do you stop yelling at your kids? If yelling feels so right, and it does, why does it make you feel like crap afterwards? I mean, 25 years ago, the main issue around discipline was spanking. That's over now. The research is clear. Spanking messes up your kids. Don't do it. But I remember when I was a kid, many, many loving parents spanking their kids. I mean, these things are cultural and temporal. Discipline is social. You do what everyone around you is doing, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. And just as parents of my parents' generation could not imagine raising kids without hitting them, I wonder if we'll feel the same way about yelling 25 years from now. We're talking to Chris because Chris does yell at his kids. I do not. There are times when uh, I believe that I am just speaking in a clear, perhaps slightly forceful manner, and my children believe that I'm yelling. I think this is a big thing for dads. <laughs> it is. I think this is not just your problem. So what's the difference between talking loudly and yelling? This is talking loudly, and this is yelling. Okay, the thing that I find so funny, first of all, in that tape, when you ask your son this question, your voice is about as gentle as you could possibly make it. I mean, it's like, well, it's like in a my joke. head, that's how I talk all the time, Stephen. I think part of the problem I'm having here is that I really cannot even visualize you yelling. You are a very gentle person and a very kind person and a very soft-spoken person and not someone who would ever even mock somebody. Yet, I realize that I do it, right? Chris and I took one of those uh, low-level, probably bullshit online anger management tests, and my score was literally double his, which seems totally fair to me. The man is calm. He's the kind of guy that if you went right up to him and called him a motherfucker, he'd laugh and ask you what the joke was. Not an angry person. So why does he yell? It's the classic problem that I think every parent faces. Your child isn't listening to you when you ask them to do something with a normal voice, so I raise my voice to try to create more impact, right? In the moment, it's the thing that feels right. I don't judge anybody for yelling, but it is pretty much always the wrong thing to do. I mean, the research is becoming clearer and clearer, and I don't think Chris or most fathers know this stuff. Yelling will merely startle the child. It kind of makes the child upset and anxious or shaken and uh, maybe try to escape from you, leave the room, walk away. And it also is not exactly wonderful for the parent-child relationship. That's Alan Kasdan, super big shot in the world of parenting, professor of psychology and child psychiatry at Yale. Yelling increases the likelihood that you're modeling behaviors that your child will engage in that you might not want. And that's not trivial because we know, for example, that children punish their peers the way they themselves were punished at home. I'm gonna take this one step further. In 2015, a study from the University of Pittsburgh noted that yelling was, in many ways, just as bad as spanking. So, is yelling the new spanking? Uh, are you not being a little bit hard on Chris? No, I'm not. That's my producer, Mio. Not sure if he's...